Hey, welcome to the Strong Roots Podcast. My name is Kristen Hill, and we are so excited that you're tuning in today. Our prayer is that you would move one step closer to Jesus through this series. So go ahead and check out this next episode. Hey, Strong Roots, we're in our motherhood season, and I'm here with Megan, and she is a really great friend to me. She is such an exceptional mother. She's an encouraging friend, and I was just telling her before we walked in here that I couldn't be more excited to learn from her today. So thank you for being here. Yes. Oh, I am so genuinely excited. So Megan, tell us, what has your journey into motherhood been? Uh, so my journey hasn't been easy. Mm -hmm. um, Henry and I cannot have children on our own. So uh, we've had to undergo several uh, treatment cycles of IVF, uh, tons of testing, mm -hmm. things like that. Um, but uh, we've been blessed with twins. They just turned four uh, and at the end of April. And then we also have one on the way uh, due at the end of July. So, yes. And I know there's been so much prayer. Oh, yes, around immense it. amounts of prayer. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so tell us about anything specific about that journey I guess I just am imagining somebody watching who maybe is in the midst of that journey mm -hmm. is there anything you'd want to share about it that you wish you would have known um I think for me um it was early on I thought you know I was all in with God mm -hmm. I thought my relationship was you know solid and I feel like going through the journey made me realize how much I was trying to control my life, mm -hmm. especially when it came to trying to be a mom. So um, fully submitting to the Lord, going all into the Lord is what made the most difference on yes. my journey. So it just made it easier, more manageable. Mm -hmm. That is so good. And I love that you said more manageable because a lot of times Jesus gives us the peace and the strength but it doesn't mean circumstances change. Right, right. There's no guarantee. Yes. And there never was a guarantee. But I felt like once uh, the Lord, I let the Lord take the lead, it was like, okay, so whatever is going to happen, whatever the outcome is going to be, I know that I'll survive it and I know I'll be okay. Oh, that's so good. Mm -hmm. oh. So Megan, kind of goes with what we were saying, but how has God's grace sustained you through this journey? And what promises of God have you relied on um, to navigate through this. Right. So I feel like God's grace has been the only constant through the whole journey. Yeah. You know, it's kind of once I submitted to him, it was the thing that I cling to. Mm -hmm. It gave me strength. I feel like it's really what got me through because it's not always pretty. Yeah. And you're not always like your shining best, <laughs> you know, <laughs> yes. for sure. There's some dark moments. Um, but I think it helped to make those like shed light on those dark moments. And it really gave me strength to get up the next day and go on and, you know, face things that I didn't necessarily feel comfortable with, but um, it just made me be able to do that with yeah. a little bit more. So for the men watching, what have mm -hmm. been things your husband has done or prayed or just been during this journey that have really sustained and helped you? Yeah, so I feel like for me, um, Henry and I, we had to go through uh, we started going through this journey really early on in our relationship. Yeah. So we'd gotten married and we never really tried to prevent, you know, having mm -hmm. a family. So it was something that we kind of were faced with early on. And I feel like it made me realize just how strong his faith was. Mm -hmm. And knowing that he had such a strong faith kind of helped me to feel a little bit more at ease of what we were going through because even though I might have felt like I couldn't handle it, like I right. knew he could, mm -hmm. and I knew his you know, foundation was one of God. So I feel like it brought us closer in that respect, but it also gave me the, um, I guess it gave me the assurance yeah. that like anything we would go through, so I mean obviously trying to have children is a major you know, journey to go through, or a hurdle to go through in our case, but anything that we would go through in life, like I knew we could get through it together. Yeah. Yes. So it really yeah. did make you stronger. Oh, most definitely. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of marriages can end because of something like this. Mm -hmm. So what do you think it was that really... Well, there. I mean, there were definitely thoughts like early on, like, okay, I understand that if this is not something that he chooses to yes. go through, you know, I mean, 
it was something more of we had found out that it was more on my end mm -hmm. of not being able to conceive. So, you know, you, there are thoughts, well, if he did want to walk away, I mean, mm -hmm. potentially he could. And so I feel like that was like never even a thought that crossed his mind. Yeah. So once I knew that too, it almost was like, you know, this, when you enter a marriage in a relationship like that with God, it, it just means that you're in that relationship no matter what. Yes. Mm -hmm. and it's unconditional. It is. And uh -huh. for those of you listening, <laughs> her mm -hmm. husband, like, they have one of the best love stories. And he literally has her name on her knuckles. <laughs> like, I just, I really, really respect you guys' relationship. Uh -huh. oh, thank you. And I love hearing about it because mm -hmm. it really, God has made you guys so strong. Oh, most definitely. So, okay. How, what can you tell us about being a mom of twins? Yes. So, I mean, for, you know, moms out there, momming is hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's not easy, you know, at all. Um, but I do feel like, you know, being a mom of twins hasn't necessarily been any different for me because I don't know any different. Okay. So I really can't imagine my life with just one. Like, yeah. I assume there are times when it would be like, oh, this would be so easier with just one child, yeah. you know. But when I really think about it, like my life I could never envision without both of them at the same time. Yes. So, um, yeah, but I feel like too with that being said, there's a lot of trust and faith that you have to put in the Lord that you're doing things right. Oof. Because there's no like right or wrong answer. Yes. You know, you go through so many things even just throughout the day where you're like, am I doing this right? <laughs> like, <laughs> yes. I mean, surely there's a better way to do this or yes. this isn't the best way. But I feel like at the end of the day, you just really have to trust that God bless these children in your life and yes. that he trusts you with them. So um, what you're doing is the best for them. <laughs> yes, there's so much prayer. And I feel like they're looking at you like, you know what you're doing, Mom. Right. <laughs> you're like, right. You have all the answers, right? Right. Right. <laughs> oh, I, mm -hmm. I can relate to that hard. So <laughs> how have you, like, changed from, let's say, trying to get pregnant, mm -hmm. being pregnant, having four-year-old twins? Like, how have you changed through this process? So I think I grew up a lot. Really? Okay, yeah. I mean, and, and not in necessarily a negative way or not in like the best way possible yeah. but I feel like going through the journey that I went through I was always kind of like a fairy tale thinker like you know yes. the movies Disney movies like everything turns out perfect and yeah. life just happens like you want it and mm -hmm. you get everything you want out of life and you're happy and you know happily ever after yeah. but I feel like the journey has really made me realize that that really isn't how life works mm -hmm. um but not that it doesn't have a happy ending. Yeah. I feel like God's plan is better than what we believe in our hearts is, you know, the best outcome. Mm -hmm. So I feel like once you do submit to the Lord and realize that God has your best interest at heart, that whatever happens in your life was meant to be and was meant to go that way. And yes. yeah. Has so. there been times where you have fought God's plan? Oh, definitely. Yeah, and even even once I did submit to the Lord, we uh, had to go through fertility, you know, obviously with having our twins. And then we went through another couple years of, like, secondary infertility, I guess you would call it, to try to get pregnant again. Mm -hmm. So I feel like even in that second part of trying to have another child, um, there were times when it would, like, I would revert back to my old ways mm -hmm. or I would let myself kind of go to dark places and not think that, you know, maybe God had my best interests at heart. But I feel like the second time around, um, my mindset was a little different. You know, I was a little bit more equipped to handle it um, with God being the one in charge. So it was once I was like, okay, we've been through this before. You mm -hmm. know, it was kind of just a, a mindset to get right. And um, it just made it much more easier to deal with and truly feel like whatever happened, you know, was yes. what God had planned for us. Absolutely. So whether or not we were meant to have another child or not, so. Was it hard going through this journey alone in the way that I know you have a lot of friends and family, but maybe not a bunch of people who have obviously gone through the exact same thing you went through? Right, right. Yeah, I mean, definitely. And I feel like that is what 
was maybe the most difficult part, Mm -hmm. one of the most difficult parts about being a woman and being a woman of like childbearing, you know, age, uh, especially with social media. Because I feel like social media is like a representation of all the happy things in life and all the great things that happen in life. And, you know, during a portion of your life when you are of childbearing age, all the women around you mm-hmm. <laughs> are having children, you yes. know? So I feel like that was difficult to have to see a lot. And that's why I, t- I stepped back from social media a lot, just because I felt like it wasn't healthy for me. Mm-hmm. And not that I wasn't genuinely happy for women to be having children and to, you know, having their dreams fulfilled. It just, it was always that comparison of, you know, yeah. when was my dreams going to be met? Or when was, you know, when was I going to be able to have a child? So... What have you learned about God's character through it all? I feel like you might have a unique perspective on his character that other people don't. So I feel like with God's character, Mm -hmm. I would just say that I feel like constant, like he's always there no matter what. Like he will get you through whatever it is. Like I I just feel like I've I've always cling to that. And I feel Mm -hmm. like he has been... Though I have felt alone at times, I've never been alone. Yeah. You know, when when God is with you, you're never alone. Yeah. So I think his character of just always being there. Right. Being the constant. The world changes. You know, tomorrow we don't know what tomorrow holds, but he will be there. You know what I mean? So Absolutely. Isn't it funny how we, like, act like he's not sometimes? Right. (laughs) Or live Mm -hmm. like he's not? Right. Why? Right. And I feel like when you go through something like this type of journey or, you know, other trials and struggles in life that, I mean, it is what gets you through is that you are not alone. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you know his hand is in your hand and he's leading you. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. When you get weary on your days, I mean, even being pregnant, some days it was like, (laughs) I'm tired. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm -hmm. I just could sleep all day. Where do you go? What do you do? So for me, it's funny, I, when we, one of the times we first met, I yeah. re- remember this, just, uh, it was at SP19 and we were having dinner yeah. and you would ask me about like, how did you get through like the first year of having twins? And it, it makes me think about that yeah. moment because uh, just the pure thought of the blessing that God has given me mm. with my children. And like, I can honestly say that because there are times when you just want to cry or you just want to like, I don't want to do this today. Or, you know, whether it be trying to have, you know, children or now being a mother of twins, being pregnant with a mother of twins, you know, um, being pregnant and a mother of twins. I feel like just that constant reminder to myself that God has blessed me with the most amazing humans on yes. earth and you know just how blessed I am to be their mom I remember that conversation mm-hmm. and honestly for those of you listening it was the most genuine because I asked her I mean because you hear twins and you think <laughs> oh my goodness I don't know if I could do that right, you know? like how do you do it like yeah. what does it look like mm-hmm. and your genuine answer of I was just so grateful mm-hmm. that I had kids that I was mm-hmm. God gave me these blessings right changed the way that I don't know if I had Aurora yet or not I don't even know Mm -hmm. but like when I had Aurora those words constantly I remember them because I was like I don't deserve this gift Mm -hmm. it's a gift Mm -hmm. that he gives some and not and it changes your perspective on those hard nights or on the times where you feel like you're (laughs) losing yourself or you're like I could not have this and there's nothing I'd rather have right Mm -hmm. you know exactly so good Mm -hmm. so good (laughs) so Practically speaking, how can we best support a mom who has yet to become a mom and would really like to be? Yeah, so I feel like no two women going through Uh, something like this are going to be the same. mm -hmm. Uh, And I feel like they have to be treated like an individual. Ooh, that's a good word right there. Yeah, so I feel like it's not really like a blanket. There's not a blanket way to um, help support women going through something similar. Uh, But I do know, I had mentioned it before, that whether or not she is fully submitted to the Lord, Mm -hmm. I know from my own experience that it makes it easier. It makes it manageable. Mm -hmm. Uh, And I know I could not have, I could not be where I am today if I didn't have God with me. Right. Like 100%. So, um, So I feel like that's important. 
I mean, most important. But um, practically speaking, I think just letting her know that she's loved, being mm-hmm. there for her, um, small acts of kindness. Um, and you know, she may not want, she may not want the presence of anyone around her either. I mean, she may want to be alone and deal with things on her own at some point too. But um, I feel like just always letting her know that you're there and that you love her. Uh, But most importantly, whether or not she is a Christian, just praying for her, just praying fervently that the Lord reveals his promises to her and sustains her through this journey. That's so good. I love that because that is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. And I especially like treat her as an individual. Mm -hmm. Because even it doesn't matter if it was you and you and I, we walked through it the first time and then the second, you're going to be different the second right. time. And if like mm-hmm. I had an equation of like, well, this and this worked for the first time. Right. Like we're constantly changing, especially in Christ. Mm-hmm. We're changing and becoming more like him. And it's just, it's this awesome thing called sanctification. But mm-hmm. I love that because how God made us in his image and we are made to know him and to be known. Mm-hmm. And like nothing feels better than somebody actually intentionally trying to know you. Right. Right. So mm-hmm. I love that. I love yeah. that so much. And thank you sure. for being genuine. And is there anything before I wrap this up that you want to add? Um, no. I mean, there was something that I uh, just uh, two verses yes. that I had forgot to mention when you had talked about God's promises uh, that I really felt like spoke to me. Uh, yeah. And so the first time around, it was Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, mm-hmm. about trust in the Lord with all your heart. Uh, lean not on your own understanding. Submit to him in all your ways and he'll keep your path straight. So that would be the first thing I feel like that got me through. And then the second promise that got me through was uh, Jeremiah twenty nine eleven mm-hmm. for the plans uh, for, okay, I'm gonna try to get this right. Uh, for the plans I have for you declares the Lord, plans to prosper you, not mm-hmm. to harm you, to give you hope in a future. Yes. I feel like is what really kind of got me through to the end. Yes. So I just wanted to give that out as a way of things that I clung to, that were written in Scripture, that yeah. really spoke to me. Is mm-hmm. it true? Mm-hmm. Ah, so good. And like those are the things when you're having doubts or those dark moments or you're struggling, like no. Like, meditate I, on those yes. things. Mm-hmm. Right. Like even in the moment if you don't believe it. Right. Like, okay, there's ultimate truth and I'm choosing to believe that ultimate truth right, right now, even though my feelings uh-huh. may contradict it. Exactly. Oh, so good. Thank uh-huh. you, Megan. Yeah, you're welcome. Ah, thank you guys for tuning in. And if you're listening and you know somebody who, it doesn't even matter if they're going through something like this, but you know that they could use encouragement, that you know that they could, they need a relationship with Jesus. I just... I pray that you would hear Megan's words that in this life, nothing, the most important thing is a relationship with Jesus. And that is what got her through. That is what gets all of us through to the other side. And honestly, like, there is a creator. He made us in his image. And this life is to glorify him. So if there's somebody in your life who you know needs that hope, be praying for them. Be pouring into them. Be loving them. And that would be my challenge for you today. But thank you so much for tuning in, and we cannot wait to catch you next time. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure to follow us on our other social media platforms. We don't want you to miss out on any future content. Thank you so much again, guys. I hope you have a great day. And I want you to know I am personally praying that your roots stay strong.